If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up with Dexter? Welcome back to another video here. So we have quite a bit of news we're going to go over. We're just going to go over uh, some Modern Warfare news here for Season 5. And we're actually going to go over uh, some more stuff that's smaller stuff, kind of stuff related to Nintendo. And uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So first, let's talk about this COD info because you guys know that I like to focus on some Call of Duty stuff here on the channel. So let's jump into it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Super appreciated. If you're new, obviously, make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, G2A for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes and more. And Control Freak and Scuff. I use them every day. Code OGX for gets you a discount. Actually, Control Freak is 15% off right now. So check it out if you guys want to. Best time to do it when you use code OGX for 15% off. Anyways, let's jump into it. So today was actually kind of cool because we got our first teaser for season five of Modern Warfare uh, Warzone. And it looks like the leaks we got about a train possibly being on the map is in fact true. Uh, so it says Infinity Ward has sent Twitch streamer Nick Merckx the first teaser for season five of Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Warzone. Teaser uh, showcases what appears to be a train entering Verdansk along with the ground shaking and a helicopter flying over. In the video showcased on his stream, the teaser video has a date of August 5th and 10.45 time showcased at the top. August 5th is likely to be the start time for Season 5 of Modern Warfare and Warzone, which lines up with when the battle pass does end. Here is the clip from Nick's Merc stream. So let's check out the clip. Chopper comes in from the left, ground shakes, trains like... Hurr. I feel like maybe there's something also going on with this. There's like these August little letters 5th. up top. It says 6D TC7, along with obviously August 5th and the the time or whatever that he was choosing. So this is right here. You guys can see 6D TC7. Like, is that a? Can he put that code maybe in a bunker now? I don't know. That's uh that's interesting. But anyway, so there says there's no official uh, details yet on what to expect in season five. But rumors from a website VGC states that the map will see a loot based train which this teaser does appear to confirm. In addition to the new content part of Season 5 itself, there's also a possibility per VGC that, Call of Duty 2020, that the Call of Duty 2020 title will be revealed inside of Season 5 for Warzone. We've been waiting literally forever for that teaser, man. Like, we, we haven't gotten any kind of teaser on social media or on YouTube or anything. And so it would be cool if we finally do get it with Season 5 of Warzone. Uh, but yeah, so now with that said, let's talk about some of this other news we got here, guys. So... Uh, Nintendo it looks like will be registering or has registered a brand new uh, Mario Sports trademark. So it looks like we might be getting some sort of new Mario Sports based game, whether it be like a Super Sluggers type situation here or, you know, like a like a soccer one or a tennis one. So we'll have to wait and see. But this was trademarked and I just called Mario Sports uh, in Europe and Australia. We'll have to wait and see. But I hope they do like a variety pack. It'd be really cool if they did that. Uh, and we'll see, man. We'll see. But I, I've always really enjoyed all of the Mario based uh, sport titles that they've had. They've had over the years. The tennis one was really, really cool back on the GameCube uh, and the Mario sports, uh, the baseball ones. I'm a big baseball fan. So that's also been one of those that I've been kind of really hoping to see. So uh, that's actually pretty cool news on there. The other news, actually, that Ghost of Tsushima actually beat Paper Mario in the UK charts and quite comfortably uh, I might add. So it's actually another really cool one. We had other news as well. Like I'm using uh, the gaming news Reddit if you guys are wondering about any of this stuff here. And I'll obviously link the articles that I'm seeing uh, in the description below. But uh, also Mar uh, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is going to be a title for the PS5, will have a performance mode where it actually runs at 4K 60 frames per second, uh, which is good, I think. And then the biggest news for today actually was a Nintendo uh, mini that they had like a direct mini uh, which is actually kind of funny because uh, it was only about seven minutes long and it showcased only information on third-party games uh, which was actually kind of cool I thought that was actually kind of cool a lot of people are you know kind of saying right now that the rumor is that the reason we got this Nintendo Direct Mini was to get all the third-party stuff out of the way so that we can get a bigger Nintendo Direct that hopefully will show stuff like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, uh, more stuff maybe on Metroid Prime 4. We'll have to wait and see on all that stuff, but this was actually a pretty cool Direct. They, men they mentioned some stuff for DLC that was for Cadence of Hyrule, which is... Uh, 
a game that I've always wanted to play, but I haven't really had the time to go and buy it and play it because I have some other stuff that I'm working on. But uh, Cadence of Hyrule, they actually showed off a new third person over the shoulder shooter called Rogue uh, Company, which actually looks pretty cool on the Switch. It's basically Valorant in third person on the Switch. So I really want to check that out as well. But uh, a lot of people were pissed <laughs> because this was only seven minutes and it featured none of the stuff from Nintendo's first party. I, I saw a lot of people saying it was the worst Nintendo Direct ever. But I think that's what they're going for. I think they're going for show us all the third party stuff in a mini direct. And then in the next one, it'll be heavy on Nintendo first party and second party like uh, direct partner stuff that we'll be seeing. So I'm really hoping that's the case. Either way, I thought it was nice to have another Nintendo direct, even though it was a short one and wasn't really as impressive. But again, they're trying to support their third parties. I think they had one also on indie games a little bit a while ago. So they're trying to support their studios that they work with. And I think that's good. And maybe they just wanted to highlight them this time so that they can focus on their stuff later on. So anyways, guys, just a short video. I wanted to talk to you guys about some news here for Call of Duty. Talk about some stuff for Mario Ghost of Tsushima that I'm playing through at the moment. Check out the Let's Play if you guys have not seen it so far. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video. Super appreciated. Incredibly helpful. If you are new to the channel, obviously make sure you guys do subscribe with notifications on. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, G2A for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes and more, and Control Freak and Scuff. Code OG X-Rays gets you a discount and Control Freak actually, you get a 15% discount with Code OG X-Rays until the 24th. So check them out if you guys want to. And then if you guys want to talk about anything or see what I'm up to, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. Give me a follow over there at OG X-Rays, link down below. You guys have an amazing day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.